Hey guys, so I get asked a lot of questions on, you know, uh, what do I do for my conditioning program? How do I know kids are ready to progress? Uh, what are the drills that I use? And on and on and on. So I kind of want to show you my two secret weapons that are behind me right now. Okay, one is my conditioning plan, and the other one is my tumbling progression structure. Okay, I actually break down tumbling. I don't use a level one to five system anymore, uh, especially not for tumbling because it's too much of a jump. So I broke it down into 12 tiers. I'm going to show you how they work. Hopefully, it inspires you to come up with your own. But if you just like to take my posters and use it for your gym, use it on your wall, you know, uh, see what I'm doing. And I'm going to show you how you can order yours as well. But for now, let's jump in. I'm going to show you exactly how that works. All right. So the first poster is the warm-up and conditioning chart. Um, it, it's all color coded for the athletes and your coaches and your coaching staff. The pink happens first. You're supposed to do heart rate and blood flow exercises first, then followed by dynamic and brief, brief stretching, and then the green, which is body position and basics. Uh, the cool thing is if they follow the colors, they really can't mess this up, and they'll be physically ready to do anything you throw at them and reduce the rate of injury. So they do the pink first. They can do anything they like in any order. They don't have to start with, for example, jumping jacks. They can start on this end and go this way, this way, mix it up. There's many possibilities. Then after that, they go to the purple section and get all that done. Then they go to the green section, get all that done. Uh, again, when they're in the purple section, they can go in any order. Just don't switch to pink and purple, okay? So once they get that done, um, they're ready to basically do anything you throw at them. Then after that, we have the conditioning part, which is at the bottom. Um, this is all the exercises. Now they're split up into beginner, into uh, experience, advanced, and elite. Um, you know, obviously the reps and sets change, but the cool thing here is that everything is color coded, as you'll see, and I'll go into that why in a second. But the athletes can know exactly what's going on, they'll know exactly where they are, and the cool thing is if they ever forget any of the exercises, they can just go to this QR code right here and just scan it with their phone, and the, and the videos will just pop right up, and I'll go over how they can do that in just a second. The other cool thing is we have quotes and inspiration for them. Um, if you have core values in your gym, um, you know, here's where you can put the three words that are uh, the most valuable to your gym. And I want to show you how you guys can use the QR code to, um, you know, get a hold of all the exercises and the warm-ups in case you forget or your kids forget. You fire up your phone and you download an app. Um, so on, on Android, I have something called a uh, barcode scanner. You know, iPhones, Androids, they all, there's tons and tons of free QR code apps available. It doesn't matter which one you pick. They all work very similarly. So. Um, for our purposes, I'm just going to fire a barcode scanner here, okay, and it'll give you an area of where to scan the image. Then simply all that you do is you point at the QR code like so. There you go. Okay. As soon as it recognizes the QR code, it'll it'll recognize it as a link. And then you have a bunch of different options. But just look for one where it says you know open browser or open Safari or whatever you need, um, and it'll open up the link for you. You won't even have to type it in. And bang, you'll be taken to this page right here. Welcome to the Tumbling Poster Resource section. And everything's color coded. So, for example, pink, blue, green, and the exercises are listed in black and white. So, as you scroll down, um, and again, look pink, okay, uh, purple, and green. So, for example, let's say you know, um, you want to know, um, let's see, let's pick one here. Okay, all the push ups. You're like, oh, I don't remember what those are. Just press view video. And uh, it should fire up the YouTube link for you right there. And then you just hit play, and it'll load it up, and there it is, the Open Push Up. It also knows the Hollow Push Up. Use the same name. And there you go. Alright? So as soon as that's done, you can just go back to the page, and if there's anything else that you need to look at, you can look at. So the next poster is the Tumbling Tier Structure. By the way, yours will say official tumbling tier structure. This just happens to be one of the gyms that I was pre-testing at. This was the prototype model. Um, yours will be the same size, but you know, a little bit better, a little bit cleaner. Um, so the, let's go over the philosophies of practice, perfection, progression. It tells the athletes what they need to do, how to progress. Uh, the, the, the biggest thing about this is that it, unlike cheer, which just goes low one to five, and the jumps are too big, this makes everything into a 12 tier structure, which is the smoothest tumbling progression structure they can have. Um, they'll in fact progress quicker and they'll be more motivated because to go from one to two 
two to three, three to four, uh, even while attaining perfection and mastery is a lot faster than going from example from level three to level four. So here's how it works. If they're in tier one, for example, they can work handstand, power hurdle, anything they like in any order. So if you're a coach, if you have junior coaches, they can one day they can spend on handstand and let's say front rolls, or they can put all this together into one rotation. But the thing is, an athlete can't move on to tier two unless everything in tier one has been mastered. So as an example, let's say athlete gets the power hurdle, standing bridge, front roll, right, back roll, but they're still having trouble with handstands, it's wonky, uh, not working out too well, they gotta stay in tier one until they can move on to tier two. And then again, tier two, they master everything, and they get to hop on to tier three, okay? This way, they're progressing, they're trying new skills, they're not bored, but they don't get to progress too soon, they don't get to jump too high into skills and get up at any danger. So one of my favorite features is the color coding, okay? Um, these two posters work in tandem. So for example, if somebody's in tier one, you see everything is listed in yellow color. If somebody's in tier, from tier four to tier six, it's in blue letters. So here's how that works. Let's say somebody's in tier one, um, what they'll do is they'll shift over to the conditioning poster, okay? And you'll see all the exercises in, in yellow lettering. Okay, so the beginner matches more of the beginner levels, whereas um, something, someone who's experienced, you'll see the blue lettering, and that'll match the blue lettering here. So it kind of tells them how strong they need to be in order to do the skills you want them to do. So if somebody wants to do a standing back handspring, um, they should be able to get through the experience conditioning program without any troubles. And if they're still at the beginner stages, you can kind of have a litmus test that kind of tells you that they're not strong enough. So that's a good way to let them know that they got a condition first. So I hope you guys enjoyed that walkthrough of the posters and see kind of how I do things. Uh, I've been doing it that way for a long time. Uh, the way I've structured it, I've been doing it that way for a long time. I've been coaching it for a long time. It's just I haven't visualized everything lately. It's something that night that's nice and neat and something that athletes can see. And the cool thing about it is that everything runs on autopilot. Right? Like athletes walk in, they look at the warm up, they know exactly what to do. They can tweak it a little bit. They have a little bit of flexibility, so it never gets boring. They can do things in the order they like, as long as the basics are being followed. So if you want your own posters, just look at the link below. You can go there, or if you happen to go on my blog, often tumblingcoach.com, I'm going to show you how to find it there as well. And of course, the other way to get them is if you go to tumblingcoach.com, my main website. And if you just head over to the product section, go to tumbling posters right to it, okay? I made it as cost effective as possible for the uh, size that you're getting. By the way, uh, the prices for both the posters, not just one, the price you pay for both, you get a set. They're meant to go together uh, in harmony. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to get at me at any time. Talk to you guys later.